Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Today we've got some big jobs on. <clears throat> I want to try and get that big tank finished today. The one we've been doing our really cool scape on there. Coincidentally, the black spiny tailed iguana which is going in that tank, his UV light has popped today. So that makes us realise that, well, he's got to go in his tank. So I've got to get that built today so we can get him sorted. Uh, I've got another little job I want to do as well out the back. We'll also do some stuff with the animals and hopefully we get to put him in his tank today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me and crack on with the day. The job's left on the big tank. We've got fit the UV lights, which arrived today, and then fit the branches, put the thermostat on, and do the rest of the decor, put the plants in, and it's done. So if there's a, we can do all that today. There's plenty of time. We can do all that today. We can get the lizard in, and I think that'd be really, really cool. But I'd like to run. First thing we're gonna do is the thermostat, because I wanna try and run the tank for most of the day today, just to check what it's gonna run at, what the temperatures are, and then so on and so forth. And then got another job I want to do is back. We've got a draft coming through the back doors. So we need to try and work out a way of blocking it, all the draft off. Uh, to try and keep that back room warmer. So I've got another big announcement today as well. So we'll crack on. We've got loads of jobs to do. So we'll crack on with the first one. But to let you know, We've also got Morgan in today. Give us a wave. Whoa. So she's doing all, all the normal jobs. She's doing waters on the chameleons at the moment. She'll then probably feed the chameleons, uh, do waters, so she's already done all the waters and stuff like that. Um, I am gonna ask her to do some more DP cleans today. Um, I believe we're gonna be doing tortoises need and some new substrate. Um, I think the snakes do as well. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Our plan is we're gonna feed the baby chameleons and then I'm gonna build the rest of the tank and then we're gonna try and get the iguana in it today and then we're gonna feed the sail fin and we'll probably feed the iguana beforehand so he's not mental when we put him in there. Because um, I need to get this tank running really as soon as we can so I can test that the heat lamp is gonna warm up the tank to the right temperatures. It's baby chameleon time. So at the moment, he's just up in that corner. See his tail? He's hiding at the moment. This is our male. I've got the, ma the males up here, the females in the back room. Um, so I'm just waiting for Morgan to bring us some locusts. And then we can give him a little bit of a feed. See if he's gonna eat for us. Just noticed something that we might have to work on him. If we look at the end of his tail, looks like he's got a bit of stuck shed. So once we feed him today, I'm, I'm gonna have to try and catch him out see if we can get that off his tail but there are some locusts going up towards him so we see what happens he's moving I'm not sure if he's seen the bugs yet or not come on buddy come out and get some buggies that was far that was really far fair play buddy you did well that was a good shot good shot that was Proper good line. Fair play, buddy. Fair play. So, we're going to catch the comedian. We've got to look at his tail. Come here, mate. There we go. So, here's our male comedian. He's having a little bit of trouble with his shedding, but his tail looks really quite bad. You can see where it's cut the circulation off and made it smaller. So, what we're going to have to do. is see if we can spray it with some water, give it a soak, and we might be able to get the end to come off. As you can see where it's divoted in, he's gonna lose that bit of tail if we don't do it. If we don't fix it, he's gonna lose the tip of his tail. Yep, so we're gonna try our best, see if we can fix his tail. There you go, taking the last little bit off. There we go. You can see where it was cutting the circulation off to his tail because it started to bleed. So that was, he was gonna lose this bit of tail. There's a chance now it can still be saved. 
but that is very, very, we've literally just caught that at the right time. So that's come from the suppliers like that. So we've been very, very gentle. We've literally just been using little tweezers just to massage it and try and get it to come off. And I've got most of it off now. There is a tiny another little layer on that I'm trying to get as well. But most of the main stuff's come off now, but you can see where it divots in. Poor little bloke, so I'm gonna have to ring the suppliers and let them know. So I think that's okay-ish now. There we go, that's that sorted at least. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let Morgan go around and do the rest of the feeding while uh, we jump on and start doing this tank. What we're doing now, we're in setting up the thermostat. So I've had to take the stuff out again so I can get to the vents. Um, I'm full up up there, so we're gonna have to come out of this one up in the bark and then come out where we need it. So uh, I'll set this up now, wire it all up, put it back together and then we can start doing the actual branches and decor and working out where the basking spot's gonna be. I've got this panel back in, and there's our heat probe. So it's gonna be somewhere around about there coming out of the bark in theory. So I'm just gonna put the next panel back in. There we go. I've got my heat probe in. All ready to go, all hidden away. So that's gonna come down the side of a branch and be like that, just sitting underneath the heat lamp. Absolutely perfect. Hey, so there we go, running off the thermostat. Whoa, wiggly ladder. So there we go, all the electrics is now in. I just need to do, put the bulbs in, fix them all up, and then we can do the decor. Yes. Slight problem, I lent my drill to Narinda yesterday. He's took it home and he hadn't brought it back. So, uh, I've got a friend who lives nearby, so I'm gonna go and borrow his drill. So, Morgan, I shall be back. I've got to go borrow a drill. Hey, so we've got the drill, but I've just spent about two hours talking to customers. So, we've run out of time. So, I'm gonna jump on and get this tank built ASAP. What we're doing now is I've put the tube in the wires so I can work out where it's gonna sit nice. So, it's gonna go right at the top up here, out the way, so I can work out now where I can put me the clips for it. We can screw it all in and we can do the second lot. Then we're onto the branches and making it look cool. So um, everything's all working. The light's been dimming as well, which is really good. Um, so I'll fit the UV lights in. Then we're on to doing the cool decor. We've got to work out where our basking spot's going to be, where the branches are going to be and stuff like that. So it's going to be really cool. Go first light in. Now we're on to the second one. Whoa. Fingers crossed, goes in just as easy. And we are literally sat inside the tank. So the idea is, I'm going to shout Morgan and see if she walks past and doesn't spot me. So we're going to see if Morgan realises that I'm in a tank. Morgan, come here! Ah, oh, she did she spotted me. She spotted me. <laughs> it's a big tank. It's a big tank. So I'll put you in the UV so, uh, it should be ready in the next couple of minutes to put the bark and branches in. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, so that's all done now. All the lights are in, all the electrics are in. So, we should be able to switch this switch. It's all working. So, all we're going to do now is branches and decor and making it look cool. Okay, then, everybody, I've got you on a new thing I've just built for you. So. What we're going to do now is branches. So I'm thinking this is going to be our basking branch. So that's where he's going to come and bask on that branch right there. And then I'm going to have another one coming up from that side, coming up. And then, uh, and then we'll be leaping it all out and putting all the branches on. So I've had to move the chameleon tank away, so I'm going to have to screw through the wood, through the cork box, into the log. So we're going to do that. Uh, I might have to do two in there to support it because this is going to want to wiggle and stuff. So I may have to look at other ways, maybe attaching it to the far side. But uh, I'm going to see how we get on first, see how it looks like and see how good it's going to be. What I've done, I've mocked up where this is going to be. I've worked out where my screw's got to be and I've just got to screw it in. So in theory, it should be quite easy now. I'm 
drill it all the way through first, then bring it out so I know where the hole is, and then I can force it into the log. So uh, I'll screw this all the way in, and then I'll show you where I put the log. I won't show you too much of it yet, but if you're struggling with a screw, so if you've got a nice long screw like this, and it's a pain to get in and out, so it gets so far, then it gets stuck. What you want to do, you want a block of soap. Block of soap. You then get it and you do nice deep grooves in it. And what you're trying to do is fill the, the, the screw with soap. And then it will just drill through and won't stop until you hit the end. So it's a good way. Uh, wax works as well. Just something like that on the end of the tip. I usually try and get quite a bit on there to be fair. But a nice big chunk on there and that will drive through all the way. Little tip for you. Okay then, branches are in. Okay, are you ready? Na 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 na. So there we go, branches are in, looking really cool. So we've got this branch comes out of there, going straight up. This branch, that branch comes out the bottom, going all the way up as well. So uh, they're nice and sturdy, nothing's going anywhere. So we've got to do substrate. Uh, I've got to do all the plants and all that stuff. Uh, and then fingers crossed we should be able to get the animal in by the end of the day. Fingers crossed. The substrate we're going to use is forest life. So I'm going to chuck a bunch of this at the bottom. Should be really good. Uh, he likes his hide. So I'm going to put a nice cork part piece at the bottom for him. So he's got somewhere to hide. Um, and then we'll carry on put, making it all bushy and I'm going to surprise you at the end what it looks like. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. We want the whole bag. Oh yes. Oh yes, baby. It's finished. Properly finished. Now we don't have to do anything else. We just need to put the lizard in. Are you ready? So in my opinion, it's the most detailed and best tank I've ever built. Um, so I spent a lot of money building this tank just to make it look cool. So, this is my best attempt at a zoo enclosure. You ready? Na 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 na. Look how cool that is. Really, really happy with it. It's really, really cool. Everything's working a treat. The lights are dimming. I'm so happy with it. Really, 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 really happy. So, um, look at it. I mean, wow. Oh, I'm so happy with it. So now we've got to catch the lizard and put him in there. So we're probably going to get a good scratch, maybe a bite. But look what he gets to go into. It just looks so cool. The lights are kind of reflecting it a little bit. But the idea is eventually I will try and see if we can get some cork bark to maybe block the light that's coming this way so we get to see a bit more. Really a lot of it's just the camera. You can see right in there quite easily. It's just because the camera doesn't like the glare. Uh, but in the shop, oh, it looks the best. So because I've got to grab him and he's going to kick off and we've got to lift him quite high up in the end, I've got to climb the ladders. I'm going to grab him with a... Um, I'm going to put a tea towel or something over him, then I'm going to grab him, then he can't scratch us and we've got a bit more control over him. Because the last thing I want to do is get up that ladders and him just go and out my hands. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to have Morgan film it all so we can watch him be released. Okay, so we've got our wrangling blanket. So we should be able to hopefully grab the lizard and have no worries at all, in theory. So his head's in there, we can grab him here. Oh, he's going back. There we go, we got him. There's our little dude. See, I've got him on his bottom claws because those are the ones that scratch me. So, you can see I've got scratch marks on my hand. So there he is, doing really well. He's not kicking off as much as he usually does, which is good. I reckon he knows he's got a new tank. So, we can go up. Morgan's gonna come up with me. And then, we can release him into the tank. What do you think of that, buddy? What do you think of that? <laughs> That's a proper enclosure for you, that is, buddy. I hope he doesn't go mental. 
I want him just to chill out, be nice and chilled out, and then just enjoy the tank. He had a little bit of a mad half hour going in, but of course we just grabbed him and stuff like that, so he's not going to be super keen on coming out. Um, but yeah, we give him a couple of minutes to settle down, and we'll see what he does. There he is, right at the tippity top. Hasn't really climbed around much. But uh, as soon as he chills out and he realises that we ain't going to get him and this is his new enclosure, he should have some fun climbing around, exploring. I mean, look how much space he's got. This is what an iguana needs. That little forefoot was not good enough. They're arboreal. They need to climb. So I think we've done the best thing for him. And what we do, once he's chilled out, we'll try and give him a feed while he's in there. While I've been doing that, what has Morgan been up to? Well, she's been doing some big jobs for us. So she's done new substrate and decors on European Eyed Lizard, Granite Spotted Python, Bull Snake and Albino Hognose. So she's done some decor today. So I'll show you what she's done. Oh, she's changed, it. Ooh, she changed some stuff around. Um, and then next, the old spiny tail iguana's tank is being turned into the bearded dragon tank for the rescue we had come in with the stumpy tail so she's going to go into this tank down here next there's the new european eyed lizard's tank oh he's going to be having a paddy that his log's been moved oh he's not going to be happy chappy but i'm sure he's going to love it anyway then we have the granite spotted python oh fresh substrate looking good then we have our albino bull snake looking very nice Brownie points for Morgan. Then down here we've got the hog nose. Oh, lovely little climbing areas and stuff. Oh, happy, happy day. Here's working away, cleaning the old iguana's tank with some F10 ready so we can put the bearded dragon in there when it's nice and clean. Clean up the walls. So we're gonna try and give him a feed. Look, he can just climb on the walls. How epic is that, man? He literally just jumped and went on the wall and climbed up around. It's, um, I love this so much. I think it's brilliant. You hungry? Want some buggies? You can have some bugs. I'm not target man. Want some buggies? Yeah, look. Look at that. Look at that. You can have some buggies. I'm just going to chuck him in the tank for him. Because I think he's a little bit scared at the moment. I think he's spotting them. Oh, we've lost one locust. There we go. There's all but one locust in there. There we go. We'll see if he goes hunting while I grab up the locust. Look. Oh, that is man, just hanging off the side of the tank. So cool. Are we going after his bugs, I think? Yes, feeding in the tank. There he goes. Oh, he's missed it. You missed it. See, because I've done the court bark, he's doubled the size of his enclosure. Because before, he'd only be able to climb on the floor and the logs. Now we can climb the floor, the walls, the sides, everything. So he's got a load more he can do. Alright, go for a feed. He's got one. Oh, I'm so happy with this enclosure. This is, this is it, this is. I am so happy with it. I'm going to shrug every tank now. I was going to want court bark in. It's going to be so expensive to do every tank. Oh, but it looks so cool. I'm so happy with that. It looks like he's settled, he's going around, he's feeding. Up he goes, look! Look at that man, straight up the wall like no one's business. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. What do you reckon, buddy? Do we have the seal of approval? <laughs> what do you reckon, eh? Do you like it? Now he's looking up, oh, he's like, look at that though. I liked that bit. Such a happy little lizard. Oh, where's he off? That man looks like he's in the wild. If you wouldn't, if you took a picture of that, you couldn't tell if he was in the wild or not, apart from the shiny glare on the glass. 
Um, look, that is just amazing. I am so happy with this tank. What a happy little lizard, man. He's so happy. Just climb up the walls, he can do whatever he wants. Oh, I'm so happy. Epic, man. Just, I'm actually a little bit speechless. Just a little bit. Even though I'm just, I'm good, I am. Just, just good. So, let's do our next job, which is catch a bearded dragon and put it in a new enclosure. So, Morgan loves his bearded dragon, so I ain't gonna be able to get to do none of it. <laughs> no, no, see, she's opened the tank, she's got the beard out. Alex is uh, not needed. No, not needed at all, no. There we go, Morgan's done it, look. No need for me, may as well just go home. <laughs> so, let's take her into a tank, release her to a new enclosure. Oh, look at that. There we go, my lovely. What do you think of that, eh? What do you think of that? So we need to get your UV light out, though, don't we? Yes, we do. We need to get your UV light and install it into here. But we're about to turn the UV lights off, aren't we? Because we're going to go home in a minute. So it doesn't matter for today. We can do it tomorrow. Yes, we can. Ha, 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 I bet you want some buggies. Have you already been fed today? Yeah. Oh, Morgan's already fed you. I'm sure she'll have some more. I know you would, because you're a big tubby bearded dragon, aren't you? He's a bit tubby. She's like, no, I'm not. How could you say that about me? Mm -hmm. How could you say such horrible things? It's been nice. It's, 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 it's power. It's not fat, it's power. Okay? We love a bit of power. Whoa, there we go. Lovely, girly, girly. There we go. Okay then everybody, that's it for today. Um, I know it's a little bit shorter, but most of the video <clears throat> and today was building that big tank. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed watching me build it and gives you some cool ideas and stuff like that. Um, please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help support me, Morgan, the rescues and all stuff like that, there's a link in the description below. And if you want to uh, see where I get my animals from, there's also a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.